Have you ever wondered just how close the world came to an even bigger catastrophe during the Fukushima disaster? We all remember the tsunami, the meltdowns, but there's a crucial detail that often gets overlooked, a detail that could have changed the course of history for Japan and the world. It's a story of incredible bravery against impossible odds. Let's rewind to March 2011. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is in crisis. Reactors 1 and 3 have already suffered hydrogen explosions, releasing massive amounts of radiation. The situation is dire, but the real tipping point, the event that could have triggered an unimaginable scenario, was centered on Reactor 2. Inside the control room, the pressure in Reactor 2's containment vessel was skyrocketing. The systems designed to relieve that pressure had failed. If it breached, it wouldn't just be a meltdown. It would be a catastrophic explosion, releasing a radioactive plume so vast and deadly that it would render vast areas uninhabitable. This is where the official report from Japan's Diet, their national legislature, paints a terrifying picture. Their investigation concluded that if Reactor 2 had exploded, the fallout would have been so severe that Tokyo, a megacity home to nearly 30 million people, might have had to be evacuated. Can you even imagine that? The complete abandonment of one of the world's largest and most important cities, the economic, social and human costs would have been astronomical. Japan, as a nation, might not have recovered. The country was dangling on the edge of a precipice, and the fate of millions rested on preventing that one final explosion. So, what stood in the way of this doomsday scenario? A group of dedicated engineers, and one man in particular, Masao Yoshida. Yoshida was the plant manager at Fukushima Daiichi. In the chaotic days following the tsunami, he made a series of critical, and at times controversial, decisions. He famously defied orders from the Prime Minister's office and his own company's headquarters. When faced with a failing reactor too, he made the gutsy call to use seawater to cool the reactor core a last-ditch effort that would ruin the rea reactor permanently but was the only hope of preventing a full-blown explosion. His team, the legendary Fukushima 50, worked relentlessly under his command, venturing into lethal radiation zones to manually open valves and jerry-rig cooling systems. It was Yoshida's leadership and his willingness to take responsibility for unconventional, desperate measures that ultimately stabilized Reactor 2. He kept it from exploding. He kept Tokyo from having to evacuate. Masao Yoshida passed away from cancer two years later. Though it was officially deemed unrelated to the radiation exposure from the accident, his actions, however, saved his country from a fate too terrible to contemplate. It's a stark reminder that in moments of ultimate crisis, the courage and ingenuity of a few can protect the lives of millions. Thanks for watching. If you found this story as incredible as I did, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into moments that shaped our world. See you next time.